I've met a lot of uh, fantastic parents this evening, and it's uh, no wonder that the kids are so wonderful. It's been a really nice night so far, and um, I'm just kind of overwhelmed that uh, I'm getting to meet all, all the parents of the, the children that I'm hanging out with all day at break and lunch. And uh, hopefully they're gonna have a great experience tonight talking to our fabulous teachers and interacting with some of the community members that are here in the quad. Also, the leadership class helps out a great deal throughout the school year and tonight they've done a great job helping out with back to school night. Charlotte, Levi, they are basically the backbone of the leadership class. Thank goodness for them because they make this place everything that it is and more. Che, soy Víctor Guzmán, el decano de la escuela Cuña. Hoy es la noche de regreso a la escuela y estamos muy emocionados de tener a todos los padres a nuestras organizaciones de la comunidad que nos apoyan cada año y cada día. Estamos aquí para que los padres conozcan a los maestros de sus hijos y para que, no, que conozcan a los administradores también en la escuela. Esperamos tener un año excelente y estamos muy orgullosos de ser miembros de la comunidad cuña. Gracias. Uh, my name is Mr. Murray, or Kurt Murray, and I do have this presentation uh, on video. I'm not sure if we want to just watch the video like we did last year, or do you want real life me? Real life. You want real life me? All right, let's do it. Um, first, it's uh, been a normal year. I, I mean, as normal as middle school can be, but uh, it's been a great starting year. I'm Mr. Cox, if you do not know. I've been here a couple years. Um, so I got the 8th grade history class. I'm going to go real quickly through these things. Uh, my goal is 8th grade in American history. What I'm trying to do is make the students like history. Want to know more. I'm not trying to get them to know every little detail, every little fact. I want them to know the story of American history and want to know more. Uh, they have their notebook, which is awesome. Um, if you guys didn't get a chance and you want to look at it, it's kind of fun to see. We try to stay very organized in the very beginning of the year. Um, very meticulous about it, but most of the time in their science notebook, it is their own work. I just want to set them up for success, so um, the more organized they are, the easier it is throughout the year, because then they don't have to worry about where their pages are or where they get their resources, but they can just easily look at their table of contents and find it. The textbook that we use in here is called Mirrors and Windows. The students are also going to be reading a book called The Boy in the Striped Pajamas this year, and if we have time, we're also going to do The Hunger Games, and potentially a book called Tequila Worm as well. Folks, we follow the Common Core state standards for Math 8. Um, the big focus for me is critical thinking. I want students to definitely learn the skills and concepts needed um, for success in high school algebra next year. And those include uh, all of the operations with rational numbers, um, a little bit of geometry, this year we're going to focus a lot on the coordinate plane and linear equations and linear graphs. I feel if I can give students a strong understanding of that, they'll be uh, really well prepared for high school algebra. We are getting ready for Pumpkin Festival parking where we raise $8,000 parking in that little, not parking, opening the gates so people can park. Um, in the little lot out here. It's phenomenal. It's the best fundraiser I've ever heard of. It's so easy. Um, we just need people. So you will sign up. I posted this whole thing on school. The average acronym is Advancement Via Individual Determination. AVID is a, a nationwide, actually a worldwide program uh, in prepping students for uh, not only their um, to increase their study skills, organizational skills, things like that, kind of help them out in the middle school. Uh, but also, it does continue up at the high school level. These are a few of the short stories we'll be reading. Currently, we're reading um, All Summer and a Day by Ray Bradbury. When we read our stories, we practice different elements. Like right now, we are talking about plot. Uh, we're working on identifying details of the setting and the protagonist. And they're supposed to be applying what we're practicing right now in class to their own independent readings. If they don't turn in photos of their work, they get a comment from me that simply says, please resubmit the photos of your work for full credit. I don't take points off for being late. I don't take points off for um, incorrectly solving a problem. 
Homework is when we're learning. We're supposed to make mistakes in order to grow. So my expectation is that they try. They put forth an effort. And a blank doesn't count. They need to put something down. We spend a lot of time in our science notebooks. So if you look around the classroom, there's shelves for everybody's table and period in this classroom. And those science notebooks are a record of students thinking. So the idea is to build the habit of recording you know, your thought processes over time. It includes kids' answers to warm-up questions. What is our identity in the United States? How do people express feelings and emotions? How do we combat bullying? Because um, they're hard questions to answer, and I think makes for a more interesting class. So that's the goal. Um, mi meta is tener como mucho, muchos debates, muchas conversaciones sobre estas preguntas grandes. They're all working on a men call game, right? Which is teaching them how to measure uh, drill holes precisely. And then they'll be using a scroll saw, glue them together, sand them, and they'll even have the little stones to play with when they turn them. It should be nice. Um, they're going to be using a router on this project. Um, sandpaper, they'll be sanding. Oh, I have one grand dog. <laughs> oh no, she's so cute. Two, they need two things in class their toolkit and their homework notebook. This is for class notes, this is for homework, and two pencils, 